this is the bottom out. I, I preface almost every statement these days with, when I were a lad, uh, there used to be, around every excavation site and building site and the like, in the evening, some old codger would come along there with his oil drum, smashed up a bunch of uh, pallets and sit there all night. The, the, the watchman. When I was a kid, <laughs> uh, I, we were on a big estate that was still being built. So the watchman there was a real terror to the six-year-old me. I thought they called him the bloke, and I thought that was a, a title. This guy, this guy's watchman, night watchman, is the gotchi, and it seems to be that he's a really friendly fella for this kid at any rate. He come in the evening when the workmen were leaving, I know their drills and their shovels, with his black billy can and a dog he called Brand. And a face that was lined from life's sorrow. He was a night watchman, and he called here's the gotchi when he came to our house to get water. And we'd follow him out with our screams and our shots, and we'd wake the whole world with our laughter. They're always good friends with the gotchi. Sitting under the street light, they could always depend on the gotcha. Well, the gotcha was guarding the night. First, he'd light the red lamps that sat on the planks, running round the line of old battles. Then he'd sit in his shack and we'd watch him smile back. At the sound of our games and our quarrels And then later on, when the games were all done He'd tell us old stories and fables How his wife had passed on while his kids were still young And he struggled to keep food on the table There are his good friends with the gotcha Sitting under the street light you could always depend on the gotcha, but the gotcha was God in the night. It was ten years ago when his wife passed away, though he'd learned how to manage without her. But sheep in his life, it was seldom a day when he didn't miss something about her. His kids were in England. There was no work in Dublin, though they come now and then for to see him. And the kids called his name with an accent quite strange, and the loneliness stung when they do. They're always good friends with the ocean, sitting under the street light. They could always depend on the ocean, but the gotcha was down in the night. And then later on, we'll drift home one by one, leaving him all alone by his fire. With only old Brian to lend him a hand, and the sound of the wind and the wires. And all through the night he sat under the light, with an eye out for anyone prowling. Not much would disturb his solitary world, just the sound of some old straight of the hour. You're always good friends with a gotcha, sitting under the street light. You can always depend on that gotcha, but the gotcha was gathering the 